So, as in the previous videos, uh, I'm going to be looking at um, this rectangle, and I, if you remember, I can define this rectangle using a matrix, uh, using the coordinates of its corners. So I've got 0, 0, I've got 0, 2, I've got 1, 2, and I've got 1, 0. Okay, so I can apply matrices to this matrix and see how they transform this rectangle. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, what happens when I multiply this matrix by something like um, 3, 0, 0, 1. Let's see what happens when I do that. So I'm going to multiply this matrix, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 0, and let's see what happens. So I get 3, 0 times 0, 0, so I get 0, 3, 0, 0, 2, so 0, uh, then I'm going to get 3, then I'm going to get 3, then 0, 2, uh, 2, and 0. So Let's see what's happened. I've now got 0, 0. I've got 0, 2. I've got 3, 2. So that's all the way over here. And I've got 3, 0. So what's happened is that my rectangle has been stretched in the x direction by a factor of 3. And so, what we could do is generalise this matrix so that instead of having 3, 0, 0, 1, I could say K, 0, 0, 1. And what will happen is that this is a stretch in the X direction by factor K. Okay? So that's what this matrix is doing. If, on the other hand, I look at uh, 1, 0, 0, 3, let's see what happens this time. Okay, you might want to guess what's going to happen. So 1, 0 times 0, 0, get 0, then I get 0, then 1, then 1, then 0, then 6, then 6, then 0. So, in actual fact, I've got 0, 0. I've got 0, 6, which is all the way up here. So that's at 6. I've got 1, 6, and 1, 0. So what I find is that the rectangle this time has been stretched in the y direction by a factor of 3. So we could generalise this matrix as well, much like we did the first. So that this is a stretch in the y direction, uh, factor k. So really, what I want to show you is kind of, well, what happens... I'll just redraw that diagram, I think. What happens when I multiply by uh, the matrix A, 0, 0, A, for example? Okay, so that's really what I want to see. Now, if I replace the A's with a certain number, like 2, and I multiply our matrix 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 0. Let's see what happens. 2, 0 times 0, 0. Then I get 0, then 2, then 2, 0, 4, 4, 0. So these are my new coordinates. So I've got 0, 0, I've got 0, 4, I've got 2, 4. And I've got 2, 0. So what's happened is that the rectangle 
has now been enlarged. It's been stretched in both directions, x and y direction, simultaneously. And so, if we generalise the matrix, this is an enlargement by scale factor A. Okay, so we've got stretches in either direction, x direction or y direction, and if we do it in both directions at the same time by the same amount, then this is an enlargement by scale factor A. Okay, so those are the stretches and enlargements that we need to know about.